Welcome to the Fry Vlog. Welcome to it. We're glad you're here. We're making up a song for you. You better believe it. You could always try mushy peas. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Are we up so early before the sun even rises? You better believe it. Psych! It's nighttime! Remember when psych was a thing? Yeah, psych. psych. Wait, what did you say, like? Uh... We'd say, like, I'm gonna go eat McDonald's. Okay. Psych! <laughs> my favorite color is blue. Psych! Thanks. I love getting hair in my water. Psych! So, <sighs> welcome to Evening Time Chat with the Fries. Rephrased, welcome to Good Night. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Fry Vlog. Welcome to it. We're glad you're here. We're making up a song for you. You better believe it. <laughs> that sounded like it came from someone who's been stuck in a hospital room for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I called the, the food people on the phone where I call down and either order food or get the voucher for downstairs. And I've been told there's this food truck that they have like Vietnamese soup or special spicy macaroni or whatever. Like they've got these weird special foods. So I call down and I'm like, um, so what about this food truck? And they were like, uh, your voucher, or what did they say? <clears throat> it's only for employees. And I was like, oh, okay. And they were like, you can't use your voucher there. And I was like, okay, um, what if it's for somebody who's been in the hospital for like two and a half weeks? <laughs> oh. I, it didn't, no, it was worth a try. <laughs> so maybe, <laughs> take two. <laughs> maybe? So maybe? Maybe. Maybe. No, um. Maybe. 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 Yeah, it's like maybe, um. Is that how somebody you said it in Scotland? Scotland. Yeah. Maidy. Maidy. It's like M-A-D-E-Y. That's my name. Maidy. Maidy. Anyways, so Mary did some more watercolors tonight. She is going to have a whole gallery by the time we get out of the hospital. Especially if I'm in here another week. Yeah. So I'll show you the newest addition to Mary's painting gallery. Ready for this? Well, first let me say, she was inspired by a picture that she saw of a sunset. And here is her painting. Look at that. It's beautiful. I love the colors in the sunset. Pretty cool. Or is it a sunrise? Sunrise, sunset. Sunrise, sunset. Like I said, she's been stuck in her hospital room for two and a half weeks. Thanks for encouraging me on my painting. You're welcome. It's fun. Yeah. And the, um, <clears throat> the art teacher said that basically my paintbrushes weren't going to work because they're like the plastic Crayola ones. And I'm just saying, they're working just fine. I think they're working just fine. <laughs> Update. So the latest on Mary's treatment is that we weaned down another step of the steroids, so she's down to 20 milligrams. No, 10. Oh, you took 10 this morning. Wow. Newsflash. She's now down to 10 <laughs> milligrams of steroids, and so that's good because, like we said yesterday and the day before, it's just caused all kinds of side effects and wasn't doing much good. We're talking about talking about trying 
maybe a different IV, putting tobramycin with a different one, talking about it. We'll see what happens. Um, we had told you about a new antibiotic that might be an option and we were waiting for drug sensitivities and testing to come back and it turns out that Mary's resilient bacteria is yet again resistant to this new antibiotic so it's <laughs> so uh, it's not worth trying at this point because it's hard to get and yeah we'll see how the next few days go over the weekend and um looks like we'll be here at least through the middle of the next week yeah it's a good plan peter's still researching and doing work yeah, I mentioned when we were planning to come back here, yeah, the whole three days of planning we had for this, uh, but when I met with my supervisor, the school gave me a three-month leave of absence, which allows me flexibility for this time that we're here to, I'm just continuing to research and write. Um, I've been spent kind of getting some time each day that we've been here to um, read and do some writing and so I'm still keeping on track for my degree uh, and it's really nice that the school gave me the flexibility to do it from here so that's a blessing um, it's like where some days I get confused about where we are like I'll I'll look out the window and be like what city is this what country am I in Am I in Edinburgh? Am I in Boston? I mean, we've been in... I've been in the hospital in Baltimore, Chicago, Boston, and Edinburgh. So, like, we're just kind of in this, like, weird time warp that we're like, where are we? Like, it's like, oh, this is our world, right. this room. So when you're in Marshalls walking around, you're like, whoa, these people are in the real world. Yeah. What world do I live in? <laughs> I was talking to my nurse practitioner tonight, and I was just telling her, like, no, we haven't seen a huge, we haven't seen really. My PFTs are about the same. Like, my lungs, in some ways, are feeling a little bit better. I'm doing a ton of chest PT, and um, walking a little bit and so like naturally they're doing a little bit better than they were a few weeks ago so that's great but as far as like the drugs really helping or anything we aren't seeing that big improvement um, but I told her I wouldn't change what we've done like I think the last two weeks have been very helpful I'm very thankful for the therapy I've experienced and um, I'm being taken care of, my blood, my blood um, numbers are being monitored and we're changing things as my blood counts change and we're just, they're taking really good care of me and even when I get out of the hospital next week or whatever, my lung function might not be much better than it is now, it might be the same, but we still worked as a team and I think I feel more comfortable with where my health is at because I'm starting to know my body a little bit more. My body used to be so predictable for me, like I knew what was coming, you know, a certain way I started coughing and I would say, oh, the way this cough feels, I'll be on oral antibiotics in a week and then two weeks after that, I'll be on IVs. Guess what? I was pretty much right every time. And that happened for a few years. Like, I could tell exactly what was going to happen. Now, I know when I'm getting sick, but I don't know what I'm going to do next. Like, I don't know whether I should try oral antibiotics or, you know, like this time we were like, let's try steroids. We didn't know whether it was going to help or not. This time it didn't. Maybe next time it will. We just don't know. So I'm kind of in a spot. I'm just in a spot of like 
really, I'm content knowing that God gave us wisdom that we needed to come here, and we did. And he's given us grace to deal with being in the hospital for two and a half weeks. That's something I never thought I would be able to do. Like, truly, I w used to go crazy after being in the hospital for like three days. I'd be like, get me out of here. And I'm just so amazed. Like, I guess it's just, it just points and shows evidence of God's grace because this is not something that I can do, um, having contentment in this situation. So I'm really just feeling thankful, cared for, taken care of, covered in love, not only by you guys, but also by the nurses and doctors here, and um, obviously by Peter and my family, and just everybody is just surrounding me with love. And so, no, my lungs might not get much better than this, or maybe it will take a ton of therapy to keep my lungs going every day, but there is joy in that. There is joy in the Lord, no matter what the days look like. Um, I'm not saying that the days are easy or that the reality is fun, but there is joy in the Lord and His joy gives us strength. Yeah, so we're just super thankful um, for this crazy journey. I, we're thankful to be here in Boston and like Mary said, to be just so cared for. Uh, we wouldn't have it any other way and so Whatever the weeks ahead and months ahead look like, we're glad that, number one, whatever Mary's health looks like, we are just trusting the Lord that he'll give us grace to walk through it. Like Mary said, like if it means more therapy, like learning those things and like, yes, we've lost the predictability, but we've gained grace to walk through it so yeah it's a crazy journey yeah it is it's so weird to like I was just like flipping back on the iPad looking at old pictures and by old I mean like a few weeks old and like seeing the dogs we babysat in Scotland in our apartment and like oh my gosh like that was our life and that is so far away. That is not our life anymore. Not right now, anyway. You know, just as we had no idea it was going to change three days later. Here we are, two and a half weeks later. Like, we walk each day and see what happens. <laughs> and that's pretty much all we can do. Um, it is crazy <laughs> to think, like... Our life is still in Scotland, like yeah. most of our stuff is there, and like I emailed our landlord the other day and was like, I think I left just a little bit of milk in the fridge, could you stop by the flat and get it out? And like, there's our life still there, and yet it seems so removed right now, and yeah. yet, like we're so at peace, it just, yeah. it's crazy, but it's good. Yeah, it's all good in the hood. So we hear that there's more snow coming. Oh, and another thing I heard. I heard that there's like some football game this weekend. Yeah, about that. Like I've been hearing something about that. Super Bowl or something. Here is something that you didn't know, you may not know about Mary and I. We know nothing about sports. Absolutely nothing. Namely football. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for listening to our evening chat with the Fry Life. Yes. And as always, we will see you guys tomorrow. Good, Good night. night.